our thumb is always going to be used when I say the low E string or the low A string. It's always our thumb. Uh, the G string, it's always our index finger. And anytime I say the B string, it's the middle finger. And anytime we are talking about the high E string, it's going to be the ring finger. The picking pattern, which is going to be the low E, the G, the B, and the high E. And then back down. So we've got... And so that's a really good thing to practice because we're going to be using that kind of concept and that pattern throughout the songs. So if you can get that second nature, then it's going to help a lot with everything. All right, so the next move we're going to do is we're going to put our left index finger on the seventh fret of the high E string, and we're going to hit that note once by itself, just like that. Then we're going to hit it again with the low E. So see that? So we've got, and then we're going to go G, B, um, just like that. Then we're going to hit the seventh fret on the high E and then pull it off. So right after we hit this pull off, then we're going to hit the open B and G as part of that original pattern. So check it out. Here's everything we have. Then we're going to play the B and the high E at the same time with the assigned fingers with the index finger on the 7th fret. The next thing I'm going to teach you is this little lick here and just keep in mind um, it sounds like this. I'm actually playing the open B with the lick so here's the lick by itself. But then with my middle finger if I pluck the open B with it it's got a nice full sound to it. Seven, eight, and then seven, eight, seven, hammer on, pull off, what, like this. So check it out. 